We are entering into the intelligence world with all things sensing, connect and intelligent. Uh, what's the role of ICT infrastructure and how 5G will boost all of this? Uh, actually, um, in Huawei point of view, uh, intelligence world, uh, all things sensing, all things connected and all, all things intelligent. Uh, my understanding is all things uh, should be available to sense the physical uh, world and also map to the digital uh, signals. And also all things should be connected and also all the data will go online. And also I think big data and also AI will power all the applications uh, in the talented world. And uh, everything will uh, making all things intelligent. Also 5G, when we talk about intelligent world, 5G is very important because this is the uh, foundation of ICT infrastructure. 5G can uh, provide uh, more faster right, speed and also more connection and also lower latency. Okay, thank you. Talking about 5G, do you think Brazil need to speed up to be ready for 5G? How do you see, see Brazil compared to other countries in terms of being prepared and developed? Okay, actually uh, for 5G compared to Europe, Asia, also China, also US, I think uh, we cannot say, I cannot say Brazil is um, late. Also I know Anatel is preparing this and uh, Anatel is trying to accelerate this e auction next year. I think this is very uh, correct. As you know, uh, till now, 27 countries already got 5G spectrum. And also at the end of this year, uh, over 40 countries will, will get this uh, frequency. Also the first view, I think the first view, almost 90% uh, countries use the frequency is the C-band. Also, I heard uh, next year, the Brazil will also will release this uh, C-band. I think this is very important compared to all the ecosystem. Also, if we accept the spectrum, also for network, also for 5G smartphones, now all the ecosystem is ready now. I think it is time to launch the 5G business. And what about 5G smartphones launches? Uh, what can we expect? I mean, uh, how many launches do, do, do we uh, already have? And from 2019 from on, uh, what can we expect? Actually, I can, I can tell a story. Uh, the first year after 5G uh, standards released freeze in last year, uh, there are for wonders or can develop a chip site and also till now almost 100k size uh, already was de de delivered in all of the countries also for um, you know for in 3g era uh, the users from zero to 500 media it took uh, 10 years and for 4, uh, 4G, it took uh, five years. But for 5G, I think it will take uh, three years. For smartphone, till now in this world, already has over 40 smartphones already was released in this world. And also, I think for all the consumers and also uh, operators, it's very interested of uh, smartphone price. I think. Based on the Huawei the point of view, next year, 2020, the smartphone will be, I think, 300 euro. And also two years later, 2022, smartphone price can be 150. And also uh, next year, all the smartphone sh uh, sh shipment, the percentage for 5G will reach 20%. Also ten, uh, two years later, this number, uh, percentage will reach 80%. So I think for smartphone also it's ready. Also I think this price for all the uh, the under consumers can accept. This is affordable. It's pervasive the smartphone for everybody.